everyone, welcome back. Since Valentine's Day is coming up soon, I thought it'd be good to host, what are you doing? I thought it'd be good to host a little Valentine's workshop on how to write the perfect Valentine's. I have Phoenix here as my co-host because she is pretty grumpy and complainy and I thought it would really help her to kind of just remember why she loves us and to write valentines for the people that really affect her life. So I brought a couple supplies. I have um, some just regular cardstock and some crayons. I brought Tiny's giant crayon box. Here you go. I was thinking we'd fold some of these in half and you got yourself some valentines. So the first way to write a valentine would be just to be on the surface, compliment somebody on the way they look, usually like how their hair looks that day, you know, the way that the outfit that they're wearing, how it's flattering to them because it kind of just gives people a nice self-esteem boost when you give them a compliment like that. I mean, don't get crazy or inappropriate, but just like, you know, a nice like your hair looks nice today is a great way to start a valentine. So let's see what you got for us here, Phoenix. To Falcon from Phoenix. Oh, that's very nice. Roses are gray, violets are gray, your toes are very hairy, have a nice day. Um, okay, so I, I don't know if like telling somebody that their toes are hairy unless they're a hobbit is like really a compliment to them. So maybe maybe stay away from the hairy toes comments. Okay, so instead of being all about what's on the surface, let's talk about, you know, like the nice things that people do for you because that really speaks to their character. You know, maybe comment on like, thank you for like, you know, walking me every day. That's a nice thing. I, I, I love how you play fetch or something like that. Do you, you get the point? Okay, let's see if you have another. To Daddy from Phoenix. Roses are flowers, violets are flowers. You're finally feeding me, I've been waiting for hours. Okay, um, well, it, it's nice that you're saying that he feeds you, but it kind of sounds like a critique on like how prompt he is about doing it, and I don't know if that's really gonna, you know, give him the feeling that you love him. All right, how about we just skip the compliments altogether and just say that you want to ask somebody to share an experience with you, like share a meal with you, go to the museum, like go for a walk. Those are all nice things that you could suggest in your Valentine's, you know? Like, let's get some coffee sometime. You like the idea of sharing a meal? Well, let's see what you got. Too Tiny from Phoenix. Roses are thorny, violets are nice. Give me your snacks, don't make me ask twice. Phoenix, I don't think like threatening people to give you their snacks is really gonna make them feel loved. I don't really know if you're understanding the assignment. Maybe it'll be simpler to just like get the person a present, you know? Something thoughtful from the heart, maybe something homemade. Do you agree? All right, let's see what you got here. To Mommy from Phoenix. Roses smell weird, violets do too. I can't wait to give you what's left of your shoe. What did you do to my shoe? Okay, last try. Sometimes the best Valentines are just telling the other person that they're awesome just the way they are. What do you think? Do you think you can handle that? All right, let's see what we got. Two Phoenix from Phoenix. Roses are fancy, violets are fun, don't ever change, cause you're number one. Oh well, I mean, that was nice, but I feel like it would have been better if you wrote it to one of us. All right guys, I hope these tips help you write Valentines for your friends and your loved ones. I didn't do this workshop with Falcon because she's amazing at writing Valentines. All her Valentines are like, to Phoenix from Falcon, I love you. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new things every Wednesday. You can tap on that little circle with my face in it to subscribe. If you wanna see my last video, you can go here, and if you want to see more dog stuff, you can go down there, like by Phoenix's butt. And now that we're at the end of this video, it's time for This is a Pillow. All right, it's been real. See you guys next week. Bye!